So they put me in a special class. One teacher to four kids, which is great, right? Because I had a lot of attention, but it's not good for your peers. Leah Goldstein is one woman you don't want to mess with. She's a one-time world champion kickboxer and a former Israeli undercover police officer. But that doesn't mean she hasn't faced her fair share of bullying. In childhood, an accent and a physical disability made her a target of bullies. My English was poor because my mom's first language was Chinese, my father's was Russian, a little bit of a learning disability. My left leg uh, was growing at a faster rate than my right leg. It's longer, stronger, bigger, so I had quite a significant limp. So kids chase me. At the age of nine, she got into Taekwondo, switched to kickboxing, and took the Canadian women's bantamweight title by age 15. A world title soon followed in 1987. But getting a whole lot tougher didn't mean she gave a good whooping to those bullies. I never had to, though. It was just a matter of me um, standing up and carrying myself differently, you know. But knowing in the back of my head that I could defend myself definitely helped. But I think, too, bullies like to chase, right? They look for somebody submissive. It's kind of like you see those dogs when they have the tail between the legs, right? You know, It's the same thing with me. It was just a matter of gaining that mental strength, and that's what was missing. And you know that theory of people who bully are usually bullied? It's interesting about human nature and how we all are trying to find a place to belong and we really all want to find a place to be accepted. And I think sometimes when we're feeling not so great about ourselves, we point those things about others because it's a way for us to belong. I didn't plan to be a world champion kickboxer. Bruce Lee was just a solution to a problem I had. Who I really wanted to be was 007. That's right. She wanted to become a spy and work for Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency. Goldstein did end up working in Israel in the military and police force where she encountered a different kind of bullying. Eventually, she says she too became a bully and wanted to get out of that lifestyle. And I dealt with that guy. I'm not going to tell you what I did, but he never repeated that again. And it was just escalating of how bad I was becoming. I was becoming somebody that I didn't like. Too much power. And my biggest pet, pe pet peeve is people with authority completely abusing it. And that's exactly what I was doing. The biggest issue for me, even bigger so than that, was me wanting to leave so badly to become a pro cyclist. Now it was on to her next stage as an ultra endurance cyclist. At first, she was given some space on the road. After all, there was a rumor she had killed nine people with her bare hands. But a bad crash in 2005 nearly killed her and certainly stalled her cycling career. But she came back stronger than ever. After all, this is a determined woman who has overcome her share of challenges. And that fits in well with her message today of living a life with no limits. We have those life obstacles that we're faced with, right? You know, a lot of times we go after a goal and then we just kind of throw in the white towel when something goes south, you know? So I give ex uh, examples of really extreme situations in my case, kind of how I overcame it. So when people kind of look at back in their situation, okay, well, mine's not so bad, right? So sometimes it's a matter of someone just hearing someone else's story. The hardest.